Hey everybody, good afternoon. This is Chad from The Right Line. Um, I wanted to share something that occurred to me uh, on the way home today, and I read a post from a friend of mine. Um, yesterday I had the day off from work, and I wanted to give the Grand Cherokee some love, so to try to take some of the scratches out of the clear coat, I rubbing compounded it and polished it and waxed it and cleaned it up real good. And um, so I took my son, and, and we went down to go get our haircut. And we went to... Um, a place to get a haircut when we came back out again I had a brand new scratch on the side of the Jeep here and you know I was kind of upset about it and um, I posted something on my Facebook page about how how peeved I was and a friend of mine made a comment today on the post and he made a comment that made me think he said you know it's um, it's one thing when you create the scratches yourself and you get the damage on your own it's a memory but it's even more upsetting when it's something like this and so it got me thinking um, he's absolutely right you know if you go to any off-roader regardless of what they drive and you ask them where they got their body damage they're gonna tell you exactly what it was and they're gonna tell you how it happened and um, like with my Grand Cherokee I could tell you where all the dents came from like this one right here underneath the uh, um, the body cladding there that happened on a trail called uh, Woodpecker and um, this stuff right here, that happened from the Rubicon Trail. And um, this one right here, all of this, all of that right there, happened on a trail called Rocker Panel, pa Rocker Panel Pass. And then this one happened on the Rubicon Trail. Actually, this dent here took place, um, the same place the one on the other side took place near the um, uh, near Rubicon Springs on uh, on the Rubicon. I was getting a little impatient. Grand Cherokee was just a little too wide and I kind of forced it through a rock and a tree, a rock and a hard place, and well that's the result. And then um, not so much over here anymore because I've managed to rub that one out, but there is a couple dents here and a small one right here you can see and then this one right up here and one that was on the fender that I got rid of, that happened on a trail called Log Corral here in Arizona. Tree limb, I drove right by it, and it nailed me. One more I can think of, part of it's covered. Of course, I write for trails off-road, but I put the sticker here in part to cover a great big dent that's right here, and also this little uh, scratch on the leading edge of the door. That came from a trail called Predator. Um, it was a really fun trail, but it's, it's, it's a pretty gnarly rock crawling trail. Um, so anyways, it got me thinking about that. All of those dents, of course, I, I know where they are. I know where they came from, their memories. Um, this new one was a bit frustrating, I gotta tell you, after I spent a few hours cleaning this up. So, here's my challenge. Next time you're on an off-roading trip and your buddies are all around and you notice a dent on somebody's vehicle, Toyota, Ford, Dodge, whatever it is, I don't care what it is, ask them where their dents came from and I bet that you're gonna get a killer story. So. Thanks for watching, and until next time, we'll see you later.